Hi there, it's me again, only I'm not out fishing. I, over the past two or three months I have done really nothing in the way of fishing or uh, anything actually. But uh, I've done a lot of thinking and I've actually given up on the fishing side of things. Uh, partly because I've lost, I've just lost interest. And, Partly because of health reasons. I'm not as fit as I think I am. <laughs> and my body's telling me I'm not either, so... Good to listen to your body. <laughs> so, I'm afraid uh, this will be the last video you'll be getting... Well, to do with the fishing anyway. Uh, there'll be other stuff going up, but nothing to do with fishing at all. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody that's subscribed to the channel. Uh, I thank you all. Uh, I know a lot of you really like the like the way I do my videos. I have a decent setup, and uh, as I've said before, I do not, I, I will not have hardware in the middle of my videos. Uh, it spoils them. Well, I think so anyway. Uh, there's no. And I wasn't out to make money off it. I could have made a bit of money, but uh, nah, it's it's not money making exercises. I I enjoyed it, I, and by all the reports I get I, on YouTube, on I, Facebook, and uh, when I meet everybody. I, everybody else seems to enjoy the videos and oh a hi to is it Alan in Alawa? I said I'd mention him. He met me a couple of weeks ago uh, when I was work, when I working. <laughs> him and his wife. I think it's Alan. Uh, if, I, if I'm wrong I'll get told about it. But a uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I I won't be taking my videos down. I'll leave them up. And there's no point. I, a lot of people like them, and a lot of people from what I've re I read anyway, and the people I've talked to, have actually come back to fishing because of my videos. I. Uh, and there's been competitions set up in various places because of my, my videos as well, actually. I, some of these competitions I've not been able to take part in, mainly because they've been working eh, when they've been on, and others because <laughs> they're down, down the south part, south end in eh, England and that, just too far away to actually enter. Eh, I never, I was never. I was never a competition man, but I like going around every now and again, just to keep my hand in, even though I lose most of them. <laughs> oh, it's been years, I mean absolutely years since I won, won anything, and that was third place. But, uh, Jesus, that, that could go to us over 30 years ago, that one. But, uh, yeah. So, as I said, I've called, called it a bye. And anybody looking at the clock at the back there, uh, that's the time in uh, Kentucky. Don't you worry about it. Uh, I, work, I operate in two time zones. And uh, I always said I'd do something about uh, making the videos. Because uh, I always get questions out. What do you use? How do you make them? What, what kind of work goes into them? A lot of work goes into the videos. I do the fishing, I'll maybe fish anything up to eight, nine, ten hours at a time. Uh, and you can get, you can rack up a lot of video in that time and then you have to cut it down to what you're going to put in, to put on YouTube. Uh, that takes a lot of work. Uh, you can, you're basically looking at stuff over and over again, three or four times. And I hopefully come up with um, a good result at the end. But 
a yeah. So I'll I'll put a bit on on at the end of this about the videos. I I know a lot of people are interested in that so that side of things. It's not easy, but uh, I'll still be around. I. Uh, I'll still be visiting places and meeting up with all the anglers that I've met over the years, all the ones I've actually met, and there's a lot that uh, I haven't met, but uh, I've talked to on Facebook and on YouTube and other things. I, I mean, I met a couple of guys last week, the other day. they come up from Brighton. They've seen all my videos and everything, and they, they loved uh, they liked them and they uh, and they actually made me and they were happy about that so yeah and I've got some bait as well they were kind of, they were kind of short on the bait side of things so, so I took them to some bait <laughs> that's, that's how I operate uh, so there's not a lot else I can say uh, no so, uh, I hope you all keep enjoying the videos and let your friends see them. I uh, see what fishing is, what fishing is possible around the east coast of Scotland. I uh, well, part of the east coast of Scotland, I should say, and also in the River Tay at the estuary level. And. I hope to see a few of you around, and if you've got questions to fire at me when, you're, when you see me, let them come. I'll, I'll answer as good as I can give. So, until I meet you or see you all again, tight lines and keep on fishing. And there be a video right at the back of this. Right, so once I've checked out the weather, tides, etc, then it's time to check out where I'm going to go fishing. And this is where uh, my own records come into play. Go down here, videos and photos, and fishing trips. fishing trips and as you can see I keep a record of a lot of places that I go fishing where I've been fishing it's limited to the past four or five years maybe six or seven and one or two feet further back I lost a lot of a lot of this stuff I used to keep it all in books and that but uh, from years ago but I've moved two or three times and uh, my books accidentally got put into the bin so I lost a lot of information for years ago so as I say got stuff uh, basically up to six years ago I've got some older stuff than that that I had in other wee books but uh, yeah keep a record of everything everywhere I go all the fishing trips And if I'm going fishing the next day and want to know what I caught, well, let's see. This video marking here shows that I've made a video of it. So, uh, so let's see. Let's say I'm going to Methyl Docks and say it's the seventh, seventh month. As you can see, there's photos of all the fish. Three photos of each fish taken in rapid succession so I don't have the fish out of the water too long. I, so if I take three photos I get one good photo out of each one. In here you'll find the report. That didn't come up right. You'll find the report of the fishing trip itself, 
this is what I would put up on my Facebook pages. Depending where I fish, that depends where I actually put it up. I don't put it up on every one that I'm on, every fishing page I'm on, because uh, I'd be overrun with them. So the ones that are basically local to where I am and a couple of others outside the area. And then I'll go to the catch report, which is more informative. Tells me where, when, time, weather. Oh, that was the day of the thunderstorm and strong winds and everything. <laughs> weather, tides, low tide, high tide, baits, rods and reels used, uh, rigs used. Like there's a pulley and I used a two hook one o pattern was there and also had the mackerel trees. Fish caught, a wee bit on for, for the fish were taking, the times of all the fish caught, and whether a video was made or not. Yeah, so I really go into storing information. I have tons of information. But it doesn't mean I'll catch fish every time I go out. <laughs> Fishing's not like that. It could be like that, that day, that was two years ago, it could be like that. You go out the same day next year, you might not catch half that much, it's just, that's fishing. That's, that's part of the fun of fishing. And then once we've, once we've done that, he, and it's time to make the video. Once, once I've finished fishing trips over with, uh, that's when the work on the videos really start. Uh, let's see. Where's that metal? Metal dogs one. There's metal dogs. That's all the videos that I made, uh, that I took that day. When they first get put on the computer, I'll watch every one of them, maybe two times, maybe three times. Mark them up, like that's first talk and that's number one. That's number two, first cast. Number three is look around. They're all numbered and named so I know how they're going up eh, when I come to put them in the eh, production. And you see a lot of errors along here. Uh, these are probably times that I've thought I've caught a fish but there's been nothing there or I've caught weed or I've made a speech given a talk and it's been garbage and I've done it again it could be anything I'd, I'd even point the camera in the wrong direction when I'm filming <laughs> I've filmed my feet a few times but uh, yeah that's all the, all the sections And once I've got all that done up, I I'll go into production, P Power Director 16. I, I would up upload all the. Well, there we go. There's Gurdon. A couple of days ago, open that up, load it in, and then every, uh, normally everything would be. A number named so know what to just grab and drop, grab and drop, grab and drop. A this is a fishing trip I had a couple of days ago, and I caught nothing, which is why I never made the video. But but you never know that when you're doing the videos because you'd give your first talk, you give your casting, and all this carry on. You never know whether you're going to catch fish or not, so you still do all the video stuff, even though it would just be wasted. I'll never see the light again, light of day again. Uh, but they, yeah, you put it all in, you mark it all up, and then you watch it as it's put up, and then go into produce, produce it 
and then watch it again, see if there's anything you've missed out, and then a uh, If you're happy with it, go ahead and stick it onto eBay. Uh, no, 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 no. Fuck. S stick it onto YouTube. And then that's when everybody else can watch it. I'll, I'll put it up on Facebook, YouTube and then I'll put some links on some of the fishing pages on a Facebook that I've put the messages about the fishing trip. So, as you can see, it's, it could take an hour and a half to two hours to actually make this video, depending on how much video work I've got on it. I also download the photos, so I can put up the little photos in the top corner here that everybody sees. Because I think that uh, it's okay holding a fish in your hand or uh, people seeing you taking the fish out of the water, whatever. But when you see it on the box on a, against a measuring tape, that gives you a better idea of the size of the fish. Whether it's just two inch long or longer than the box or what. That gives you a better impression of the actual size of the fish, which is why I put that up there. And my voice is going. So, there you go. As I say, I can watch it maybe three or four times before it actually goes up. And once it goes up, that's when all you guys can see it and make your comments. Hopefully good ones. <laughs> and, uh, I don't mind. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And that's that. No, I've not made a video, so I don't need to save anything. And that's how we get on, got, uh, got on with the video work.